Hey everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to talk about my only favorite thing about fall. And that is the fact new TV shows are starting. Yay! Kermit Flail. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, like, I hate fall. And the only thing that makes me happy and makes it bearable is television. Because I love TV shows. And I wanted to go over with you what I'm going to be watching or DVRing and hopefully catch up. Uh, today, actually, uh, Fuller House came out on Netflix. I'm already through five episodes. <laughs> so I will be finishing that up later tonight. Um, I'm going to go by each station and tell you um, what looks good and what I usually watch. I'll start with ABC. Sorry, my camera's not focused right. It wants to keep flopping back. Um, the Good Doctor looks really good. It has, it stars the kid that was in Bates Motel. And it looks very interesting. He, he ha He's autistic and uh, he's just trying to be a doctor. I don't know, it looked cool. The Goldbergs will be back, and they were renewed for two more seasons, which has me stoked. If you have not watched The Goldbergs, you are missing out on some of the funniest shit. I'm telling you. And it gets me because I grew up on that road. You they call themselves the Jenkinstown Posse? Yeah, I lived there when I was like four. <laughs> So, and my uh, mom's friends, like, they all live there in Jenkinstown, so, and Glenside, so I thought it was awesome, and it's just such a funny show. Um, next is Designated Survivor. I am not into political shows, so if you are not into political shows, I think you might like this. Um, it just has so many different ways things could go. Like, you think something's gonna happen, and no, something else happens. So, you just gotta be, like, careful. You never know who's gonna be alive at the end of the night. Ugh. And that's all I've been watching on ABC. On CBS, uh, Monday night comes back The Big Bang Theory. And we get to see what Amy says. And um, following Big Bang is the new TV show, Young Sheldon. All about Sheldon growing up. <laughs> and it looks really cool. And I know Jim Parsons is executive producing it. So him having a hand in it and picking out casting, I, I thought was cool too. Scorpion starts back up, and they're going to have a musical number. I thought that was interesting. Uh, and that's like one of my favorite shows, Scorpion. Um, then on Tuesdays, there's NCIS. And uh, there's nothing else to say. I, I just love NCIS. Mm, nothing like Jethro Gibbs. <laughs> um, a new show with David Borealis called... SEAL team about the lives of um, Navy SEAL officers and not just like the fighting and uh, like the, the war stuff and like what they have to deal with at home and psychologically, mentally, physically like that is on Wednesday and then that's Wednesday at 9 and then Criminal Minds follows it and Criminal Minds is just a good show. It's a favorite. And then Shamara Moore's new show, SWAT, is um, Thursday at 10. The next is Fox for me and The Orville. I have not gotten to watch yet. I'm going to look it up on demand, but I've been wanting to watch it. And then The Simpsons and, it doesn't, Simpsons and Family Guy don't come back until... I don't know, October. I don't have it written down here. Oh. October 1st. 
and then NBC, uh, The Voice. That's my addiction. <laughs> Even though Dancing with the Stars looks very, like a very good cast, um, I am not gonna watch it. I might watch clips, um, here and there, cause of Sasha Peters being on, and, uh, Lindsay Sterling, who is awesome, <laughs> but I see, I don't, I, I don't have time to watch The Voice and Dancing with the Stars because they both like have two or sometimes three episodes a week and it's hard to keep up and I can't do that. But I would love to know what you're looking forward to TV wise this coming season and I will see you in the next one.